Hi there. Today we'll be looking at uh, a D-Link product. This is the pocket router and access point. This is wireless N. The bottle number on this uh, particular product is DAP1350. Once again, that's DAP-1350. Um, this was purchased uh, from Staples, um, but you can find this basically at uh, at uh, a lot of computer stores or at your future shop or Best Buy uh, locations. This is an unboxing of this product. Just wanted to uh, draw your attention to a couple of features of this product which um, make it uh, an ideal companion uh, when you're on the road. Um, it allows for three different modes. And I'll just go through the three different modes here. Um, <clears throat> one is the router mo mode which basically, uh, if you're in a hotel, for example, uh, you have the internet, and then you have your modem, uh, or a cable coming from the wall. You then plug that cable into this device here, this portable router, and then the wireless signal is sent to your laptop or to your, uh, to your desktop uh, wirelessly. Another mode is using it as an access point. So what you can do is you can use this after the placement of a router to increase your range on a, uh, on a wireless signal. Another mode is the opposite. Basically you turn this, uh, this, this uh, pocket router slash access point into uh, basically something like a bridge. You tell it what to connect to. So this then becomes a wireless device. So you can plug this into, uh, let's say, uh, an Xbox or uh, even your desktop computer. Uh, and what it will do is it will connect remotely to your router um, to be able to uh, get internet access. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. So, opening it right up, you'll see here that it includes a CD for, uh, I believe this is a driver and probably a manual. This is all packaged inside of a plastic uh, package there, we'll go through in a second. And inside of the box is the actual travel router. Now, you'll notice that it comes in a nice case. It's a nice leather, fake leather case. Um, zippered. When you open it up, it has all the bits and pieces. We'll go through that in a second. Let's just turn our, our attention back to the paperwork that was included in here. So, included in here is a start here. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what this is. This is probably your drivers um, for this device. So we'll go ahead and look at that uh, a little later. Um, this is the, uh, uh, you're gonna register for your, for your um, D-Link product as well as to be able to get uh, assistance uh, if you run into any problems. Included in there is a poster size initial startup guide. Uh, this appears to be in, in English. So we'll have a look at that as well a little later. Uh, included in there as well is uh, 
This looks like a French. Yes, so this is a, a French guide as well. Don't need that. Um, and then in here is some information for GPL. So they are obviously using some open source technology uh, in the router, uh, sorry, in the, in the software configuration of this router. So let's get back to uh, what we really care about here is the actual product. So in this pouch is the power brick. This is one of their standard power bricks that uh, usually see with one of their regular um, routers. It is a, a barrel uh, connector, if anybody's interested. Included up top here is a... It's a barrel connector to a USB. As well as an RJ45 flat cable. RJ45 is a, is a network cable. Now this is uh, interesting because <laughs> on the instructions or on the uh, outside of this package it says here never install telephone wiring during a lightning storm. Never install telephone wiring in wet locations unless the wiring is sufficiently designed for wet locations. Never touch uninsulated telephone wires or terminals unless telephone line has been disconnected at the network interface. Use caution when installing or modifying telephone lines. Strange thing about that is this is not a telephone cable. I'm sure the uh, same things apply but this is definitely a network cable RJ45. Alright, now down to the main thing in this box that we really care about here. And that is the portable router. Now I will say this thing is extremely tiny. So we'll see here on the front face um, what it says is the D-Link logo. It has a plastic brush finish on there. On this side here, it includes the power, RJ45, as well as a toggle switch for the three different modes that I discussed earlier, which is the access point, the, um, let's see here, access point, the CL, which I'm assuming is client, and RT, which is a uh, the router mode. On the top side here, we have USB. We also have, oops, okay, there we go. We also have a, uh, I believe this is the um, quick secure mode. So you just press this button and it will uh, turn on the different um, technologies for uh, encryption, which is WPA or WPA2. Um, aside from that, on the back, on the underside, we have little feet um, where you can stand this up, like so. Now it does include some grill vents on the top as well as on the bottom. Uh, there are no other um, uh, spaces there for ventilation. So, um, just to give you a good comparison of how large um, this router is. I'll compare this against a, an iPhone. So here is an iPhone, and uh, there's your comparison in terms of uh, that distance there. And then we'll just do the same thing over here. So it's about the same width as an iPhone. So this is the unboxing of the uh, D-Link uh, DAP1350 um, 
this very compact pocket router. Um, in fact, I don't have any pockets on the shirt that I'm wearing, but I'm sure this could fit in my pocket. Um, aside from that, it looks like it, it does easily pick up some dust, which I'm seeing already on it, and this is just on a desktop. So, uh, nice convenient travel case. You can easily take this and throw it into uh, a luggage bag and um, kind of stow it away. <coughs> be able to pull it out when you need to. So this is the uh, the unboxing of the D-Link product. Please rate and review the product, uh, sorry, uh, of the video. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, post them and I'll be sure to uh, try to answer them for you. Thank you very much for, for uh, reviewing this video. Um, any questions or comments, please post them. Do subscribe, as I uh, do like to see um, you know, people continuing to watch these videos uh, so that I know that uh, they are beneficial um, to some individuals. Thank you very much.